It says it's 759. I'm not positive that I'm broadcasting or uh, narrow casting or any other version of casting. But uh, satellite says 8 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm going to play a song. City, write in my notebook and drink my tea. Don't have to make love, cause love made me. And I'll be happy all by myself. Yeah. I make my supper by ten o'clock and watch the moon rise up above my block and go to bed in just my socks and I'll be happy, happy, happy by myself. Happy, and I'll go fishing, get with the flow. I know the river is just out the road. I catch a big trout and let her go. Cause I'm so happy, happy, happy. Happy just by myself. the laundry just like I please I put the sheets on on it just like I please and in my dream I find sweet release and I'll be happy 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 by myself it's 
so happy Happy by myself Well, there you go. Welcome to the uh, streaming show, everybody. It's pretty weird, uh, but it's beautiful. It's raining outside. Every once in a while, you might see some lightning. And, of course, that's a song by Greg Brown, uh, Master of Social Distancing. Seemed like a good place to start in the middle of the quarantine. All right, what are we going to do? I made the mistake of asking for... Uh, <laughs> I just got a text from my dad. He says, sounds good. <laughs> Awesome. All right. We got the seal approval. And uh, I made the mistake of asking for a bunch of requests. And uh, boy, I got some. So five, ten minutes ago, I was looking at my phone, trying to find the lyrics to songs that I wrote in the prior century. So we'll see if I can remember one. <laughs> um, this is probably not that weird for you. We all stare at the computer occasionally, uh, but it's, it is deeply weird for me. But I'm, uh, I'm coping. I have my coping strategies all set up around me. And I think I will do the thing I know how to do and go ahead and play and sing. So here's a song I wrote when I was uh, about 22. I've been walking at dusk just walking with this lonely man's blues on my back. I've been down to the well, I've been to the Liberty Bell, but it seems like it's getting a crack. I've been talking about love, but just talking. Seems like I don't get anywhere So maybe I ought to go To just where I don't know It looks to be somewhere other than here And if I was a lighthouse I'd shine out on the ocean if I was a train, I'd always run on time, safely on their way. I'd send God's weary traveler. When my time was done, then I would leave it all behind. I've been thinking about war, but just thinking. I've been beating my plowshares thin. I sought my own address. I read the Gettysburg Address. But old Abe, it seems a hard road to win. Playing my guitar, just playing. I'm running out of good things to say. I 
saw what there was to see. They gave me a bachelor's degree. So I think it's time that I was away. If I was a lighthouse, I'd shine out on the ocean. If I was a train, I'd always run on time. Safely on their way I'd send God's weary travelers When my time was done I would leave it all Behind mm. funny when you think about clapping it's pretty much just a bunch of monkeys in a room banging our hands together which uh is what we all do when we get used to it and when it's not there it feels kind of funny uh, i want to send that last song that's a song uh, called uh walking at dusk <laughs> which is sort of a like if you're gonna make an snl skit about a folk singer that's like a title you would come up with but you know we can forgive ourselves for having been 19. And uh, but I want to send that out to my friend Chris Bowen, who brought bought uh, breakfast for me and Moses when we were out on the road. Chris and Sarah. If I saw you, would you know my name? If I saw you, would you know my name? I used to know you, I used to be your man. Back in the traveling time Like blood brothers back when you were mine Do you remember I was your Sometimes I hold you in my dreams at night But I never told you it never seemed right But I'm gonna meet you somewhere on the other 
sad If I saw you Would you know my name If I saw you Would you know my name Honey, if I saw you, if I saw you, that's a song called Blood Brothers. It's the uh, it's the title track from the last record that I put out, and I co-wrote it with my friend. Mr. Billy Conway, a drummer of some note, <laughs> who lives in Montana. He was giving me a pep talk not 20 minutes ago, explaining to me that this is what I do, and I shouldn't be afraid, because this is my, you know, job that I've been working on for a long time. I'm not actually checking, like, a sports score or anything here. I'm uh, using the tuner device for those of you who are geeking out about guitars at home uh, this is a guitar made by a friend of mine this is a Dobbins guitar D-O-B-B-I-N-S and uh, this is one of those guitars that doesn't have any electronics and it doesn't get to go out on the road like the other ones but it stays home and uh, waits for me. And, uh, I like how it sounds. I've got it strung up sort of heavy strings, and I, and I like to bang around on it. Um, see, now I got stuff I like. It's cool. I'm just tuning up, so it's like you got to get up and get a drink or well um, a short two weeks ago in the previous century apparently we were in a, playing a trio tour in um, California Arizona supposed to go to New Mexico, but we never got there. So here's a uh, song that we got to play in Phoenix. I think it was Phoenix. It's hard to tell. Sort of one big parking lot. Uh, it's called Mesa, Arizona. Um, that last song I played, Blood Brothers, I played that for Pieta Brown because she asked me to play it. And uh, uh, Mesa, Arizona. I'm playing for a woman named Emily, uh, who was kind enough to write and say that this was the last um, song that she and her mom got to listen to on her mom's last ride with her. And uh, people write me stuff like that, and it is hard to know where to go with something like that because it's uh, it's big, it's a big thing, it's a deep thing, and I want to just say that I uh, I always read it and I always pay attention and it means something to me if I don't uh, talk about it that's because um, it feels uh, off somehow to um, to get into that sort of stuff all the channels that we have to talk to each other right now social media that sort of thing tend to be sort of crass and uh, but when somebody comes up after a show and says that they had an experience with um, a song or a show or something and it meant something, that means the whole world to me. So uh, we'll send this out to Emily and her mom. Mexican joint in Mesa, Arizona. I 
Baby, out your band on the jukebox. And now I'm the corona. Some gone down in the pale thin pink, and there's no one to talk to, and all I can think. Your eyes are like train smoke Your mouth tastes like rain And I know if I know nothing I will always know your name You're my one And only one You're my only one And I'm out here working In the neon light where the temperatures are falling Hotel coffee and red eye flights And honey, I'm your midnight ringer calling The snow comes down from the desert sky And I tell everybody something But it's usually goodbye but not you You're my one You're my only one Not you You're my one You're my only One I want to talk to One I know to call You're the one Gonna catch me when my pride leads to a fall. The sky all full of starlings, an axe blade shining in the sun. You're the angel touched cold against my lips. You're my only one. Now it's real to real The country roads The town slide by like ghost repeaters Faded billboards Big box stores Like a movie of an empty theater And you look around You wonder when the seams are gone to and how dear is the cost of living if everything is for sale except you? You're my one, you're my only one, except you. You're my one, you're my only. I'm all alone in the Mexican joint in Mesa, Arizona. Mesa, Arizona. Mesa, Arizona. Mesa. Mesa, Arizona. What happens now? Uh, all right. I'm going to play. Let me go back. Today's my college roommate, John's birthday. He's 70. <laughs> no, he's not. He's 44. But that sounds old, doesn't it? 44. Uh, it's terrifying for everybody. But John, hopefully he had a nice birthday. He didn't take the time to uh, write me back or anything when I texted him, but we'll assume that he's alive and all is well. And uh, I think of him because I wrote this song up in his little... Uh, he had the upstairs. Um, the upstairs? 
a little house in Madison, Wisconsin, where we lived when we were finishing college. And, uh, you know, it had been an attic. It had a ceiling that you could only stand up straight in the, in the very middle. And it was an unpleasant place to be, but he called it when we moved in. He said, this is my spot up here. He had to go through my room and up a hallway, uh, rather a staircase, to get to his room, which technically made his room a province of my room, so he didn't even have a room. And uh, But he saw the beige carpet and the track lighting, and it was love at first sight. And uh, anyway... There was a day when the power went out in April, right after Towns Van Zandt died. And I wrote this song. This is a song on my first album. It's called uh, Miles from the Lightning. A number of people um, asked me to play this song, and I'm going to play it because uh, I, li <laughs> I live to please people. <laughs> Darkness on the fence post, a whistle from a train, water in the corn rows, and a window to the rain. Count your miles from the lightning, lay your money down. Count your blessings against the thunder, take the thorns out of your crown. No more highway rolling, no more sundown rides, no more Carolina, no more great divides. The words to keep from dying, there ain't a man to find. The words to keep on living is what you left behind. Songs on painted shadows Bleed on broken roads Paved from here to heaven With anything but gold And anything but simple well, That always was your kind You're from the straight and narrow Running along the straightest line The straight and the narrow Along the straightest line Darkness on the fence post And a whistle from a train Water in the cornrow window to the rain count your miles from the lightning rest your tired eyes count your blessings against the thunder kiss the years goodbye Don't be alarmed, it's just a capo. Apparently fell off my chair. A lot of exciting things um, happen in this office. Uh, for instance, I update social media occasionally. Uh, you know, like I draw a picture or write a letter. Mostly I just do what you're <laughs> watching me do right now. I sit around and play guitar. Sometimes I drink coffee.
Sometimes I drink coffee with ice in it. I see. All right, no, I can't. Can't read anything. Hold on. What does this say? Peter Mulvey says I should play Faith by George Michael. That's not going to happen. Uh, something about tatting. Uh, all right, well, this is not my scene. You may have noticed that I don't follow things. So I don't, when, when I go on social media, it looks like a giant billboard of my face. And uh, I prefer it that way. Not really, but uh, that's how it is because I don't like, uh, well, I object on principle to the idea of following anybody, actually. Uh, but mostly, it's just not my deal, so I don't usually see what other people write about things. Interesting sound. This is a Martin guitar. This is a Martin Singolo 18 from uh, 1948. It's one year older than my dad. Mildly better behaved. Uh, all right. Let's get this program together and play a song. This is a uh, song I wrote about Greg Brown, the guy that wrote that first song I played, Just By Myself. I wrote this song about Greg after a conversation that we had backstage at a festival in which he related to me a dream that he had about James Dean. I saw you up there, a city in the footlights, shining in the darkness. I couldn't see your eyes, and they all thought they knew you. Nobody knew you, and I wanted no one to know. Me too. I saw you out there in the starlight and static, singing like a spark on a mile of coiled wire. And you look so lonely Like no one was ever lonely And I wanted to be lonely too I remember once you told me You had a dream A crowded street saw the ghost of James Dean and no one could see him and no one could see him and he cried in his love
saw you standing up against the building, smoking like a river in the dark before the dawn. I asked you for nothing, and you became nothing. You were just a ghost. And then the ghost was gone. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We'll do, uh, do I put new strings on this guitar? So we got to put it. Uh, this is uh, the guitar made by Matt Ike at uh, Mule Resophonic Guitars in Saginaw, Michigan. And, uh, okay. talking a lot because it's already 835 we got to get through the list there's a man in a cheap suit Holding a beer can And he's standing on his back porch Looking out past the highway and The sun is going down In a field of dry corn And the slider keeps catching But the screen is torn his tie is loose His socks are thin He shakes the can once Goes back in And he walks between his children and the television glow Through the kitchen for another To the living room alone There's a knockoff Gibson Leaning in the corner Where we left it the last time He felt like this He pushes on the tubes with his eyes shut tight Runs out of figure with his left hand Until the chord sounds right And when he sings he looks so far away Like there's something he almost remembers doesn't know how to say And I see him from the doorway See the look in his eyes And I know I'm gonna go where my father's dream lies. Hmm. It's called Cheap Suit. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I got six guitars in the in the gun rack and one outside the gun rack. Moses, who plays bass in my band, Jeremy Moses Curtis, he hates the gun rack. And uh, he doesn't like loading it. He's in charge of loading the van, and he doesn't like the amount of space that the gun rack takes up for the job that it does. <laughs> also, well, anyway, one of the things that he likes to do is to remove... Uh, Remove one screw from it at a time until it falls apart. And that's a fun game for everybody. <laughs> that night in Des Moines The garnered streets and died Sunset building Cut with shade We sent our smoke Up through the street lights We sent our prayers out Through an old that night in Des Moines That night in Des Moines We were too late for our supper We sat at the bar We drank three beers And we watched the house Filling up with no one God was listening She cupped her ear That night in Des Moines And that shook your hand in the heat from the asphalt it was liquid and dancing and we walked to the front door like a rock and roll band and that night in Des Moines Iowa that night that night in Des Moines we slept at your mom's house We drove east in the darkness Toward a whole new day And the lights on the big trucks Were like gun camera tracers On I-80 at midnight There was nothing to say Everybody's doing well. This feels like this feels like the three-quarter point of a cross-country race when your coach would come and like say uh, inspiring things to you from near the race course. It's a conversation, isn't it? When you uh, are playing a live show 
you put energy out into the room, the room gives it back to you. Sort of a circuit. I feel you out there. Uh, it'd be funny though if the, if the whole stream had shut down by now. And I was just, that would be the essence of modern life, I think, if I was just in here doing this thing. All right, what am I gonna play? All right, a number of people asked for this song, and uh, it required a little bit of uh, research. Let's call it research. A song called The Dove and the Waterline. It's the first song on my first album, and uh, what can we say? We can say that I tried to read Moby Dick when I was 10, and it was like trying to take a bite out of a beach ball. It was a little more than I could deal with. And, uh, and I tried again when I was about 14. And I made it, you know, three, four pages of total incomprehension. And then I read Moby Dick when I was in my late teens, and it changed my life forever. Uh, which I invite you to experience if you have the chance. Um, anyway... There's a chapter in Moby Dick about Jonah and the whale. Jonah is a Hebrew word that means dove. That's as much as I'm willing to tell you about the obscure origins of this tune. Sky from the field where the snow fell down, and the town threw up its light against the clouds into the night like a wall to keep the flood from bearing down. And I said, Hello, can you help me? Do you know what I'm doing? Tell me where I'm bound The stars all have names And the angels have the same But I'm lost And I want to be found I wrote you a prayer From inside the walls of my country Where the cold wind blows The storm into the sea rang out against man's every plea to rouse my soul and steal my body below. And I said, Hello, can you help me? Do you know what I'm doing? Can you tell me where I'm bound? I'm cast away into deep and compass there no soul to keep a fire to the water burning down I said hello can you help me do you know what I'm doing can you tell me where I'm bound the stars all have names the angels have the same and I'm lost and I want to be found Wrote you a song from under the sky, from the field where the snow fell down. And the town threw up its light against the clouds into the night like a wall to keep the flood from bearing down. Dove in the waterline. 
I was thinking about that song while I was playing it. I was thinking about I had a girlfriend who came to a show with me one time. Uh, it was one of the first shows I had, like a real show where I was on the road. And um, right before I went on, she was like, you know that song, Dove in the Waterline? I think that first line's stupid. And I was like, well, what do you mean by stupid? She was like, I don't know. I wrote you a song from Under the Sky. Just like, when are you not under the sky? It just seems stupid. She had a good point. Maybe not the great uh, time to mention it. Right then. I think this is an appropriate time to uh, <laughs> to see if my wife is paying attention at all, and if she is, to s see whether she would surreptitiously bring me a drink. Probably not. Uh, she's decided that it would build the suspense and be much more exciting if we waited to do a show together uh, and dedicate that to some other... Uh, purpose so sh so uh, also there's no room because I'm completely bunkered in here by guitars and other stuff but if you wanted to see Chris Delmhorst and I perform together I guess you're just gonna have to wait till we uh, put out the live stream for that Why nothing is happening Why is that people got in touch with me right before this was supposed to happen and they told me that uh, John Prine is uh, critically ill with the, the brand new COVID-19 coronavirus and uh, John Prine is so bedrocked to me that I don't even know how to take him out of my education or the way that I think about the world or the, certainly the way that I think about playing music or writing music. So here's a song by John Prine that I recorded a long time ago and I want to send it out to all of you and out to uh, John Prine and his family and he's okay. <laughs> he's John Prine. He's always okay. Um, but it's going to go hard on us. So here's hoping he hangs in. This is a song called Mexican Homie. You got so hot last night, I swear. You couldn't hardly breathe. Heat lightning burned the sky like alcohol. I sat on my porch without my shoes And watched the cars roll by As the headlights raced to the corner of the kitchen wall Mama, dear, your boy is here Far across the sea Waiting for that sacred core That burns inside of me Feel the storm all wet and warm And now ten miles away Approaching my Mexican home Oh my God, I cried so hot inside You could die in the living room You take a fan from the window And prop the door back with a broom And now the cuckoo clock Has died a shock in the windows Feel no pain in the air Is as still as the throttle on a funeral train Mama, 
I'm a dear, your boy is here Far across the sea Waiting for that sacred core That burns inside of me And I feel the storm Wet and warm And i ten miles away Approaching my Mexican My father died on a porch outside on August afternoon. I sipped bourbon and cried with a friend by the light of the moon. And now it's hurry, hurry, and step right up. It's a matter of life or death. You know the sun's going down and the moon is hauling its breath. That's a good one. Well, we haven't seen this guitar yet. This is a Kalamazoo KG11. Can't remember. KG something. From 1935. Mm -hmm. So, some people wrote and said that they uh, that they danced at their wedding uh, to this song, and I, it makes it hard not to play it. And we're getting toward the end of the show, so here we go. Uh, see if I can remember how to play this. I'm going to play it in a different way and see if I can make it work. We'll start out with fancy sheets and wear them down so thin Get myself a cold black suit I never will again Your mama give us China and your daddy give us hell And when we make our getaway, they're gonna ring the wedding bell One for sorrow, two for joy, they say And I had my fill of sorrow anyway I was driving out on County Inn with my high beam headlights on In the late night out them no man's land Looking for a Tom Petty song The Percy is falling in the hot house, August night, I saw two come down together. I thought it looked about right. One for sorrow, two for joy, they say. And I had my fill of sorrow in the way. Baby, a little house outside of town with a wood stove and a clawfoot tub. When we were all done traveling around, around, around. Well, for 
of sorrow to for joy they say Well I had my fill of sorrow in the way One for sorrow to for joy I know I've been one for sorrow far too long Far too long <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting down to the we're getting down to the end, aren't we? Eight fifty-nine. Jared is helping us run this whole deal. Jared, I think I'm gonna do two more songs. Two more songs. <laughs> notes and there's a guy named Giovanni Rolla who lives in Lombardy northern Italy and it's just uh, terrible there and he wrote me the other night and said that he had a hard time and that uh, uh, he, he tuned in and listened to some music and I don't know if he's up right now in the middle of the night watching the show or if he's gonna watch it tomorrow but I want to say Hello to him and send uh, my love, our love. Uh, Italy's a beautiful place, and uh, I've spent some great times there on tour, and I've had a lot of fun there um, on my honeymoon and some other places. Uh, it's so devastating to hear about the difficulty that people are going through there, so uh, I want to make a point of sending love to uh, everybody over there, people in the UK where we were going to go on tour and we didn't get to go. And um, and all of our dear friends around the country and uh, my family back in uh, Wisconsin. And then, uh, you know, I have a good friend who's a firefighter in Seattle and it sounds like it's been a rough go there. And his, his wife is a nurse in Bellingham, same thing. And uh, so sending love as far out to the margins as we can and try to um, keep a little bit of uh, light. You know, human beings have been around a long time, and we've been through a lot of things. And this is one more thing that we're gonna be through, hopefully, sooner than later. All right, I'm gonna play. You know, I'm gonna play a song. <laughs> I'm gonna play a song called "Tea and Tobacco" that I wrote a long time ago, and. Uh, Mr. Billy Conway, who plays drums with me on the road and is my best buddy and uh, such a dear friend. And he always liked this tune, and, uh, and I always made a point of not playing it once I determined that it was his favorite. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if I can... See if I can figure out how it goes. Um, I would go as far as to write it on the set list for Bill and then skip it uh, when we were out on the road together. But uh, I'll go ahead and play it tonight. We'll send this out to Billy Conway. It's called Tea and Tobacco. I think a couple other people actually asked for this, so we'll send it out to them too. I found the demo of this the other day um, where I was sitting on a uh, somebody's terrace, terrazzo in Italy. Somebody I didn't even know, they just had me put up in their apartment and uh, there were parakeets. All the, all the uh, little balconies had parakeets. So there's parakeets in the back of this one. So try to, if you can just get parakeets in your brain. Tobacco 
Whiskey from a tin cup When I had one good coat I was warm Rain on the sidewalk Neon winking out I get farther from home All the time Worn out and wandering Traveling on reveling Wearing out my heart In a little town Tea and tobacco Tea and tobacco Tea and tobacco There you go, Bill. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do one more song. Uh, geez, why don't we just, we'll just stay right there in the weeper category and do, uh, I'm going to do, uh, we'll do Hurricane Lamp. And uh, thank you, everybody. Thanks to Jared Libby, who ran the sound and helped organize the, the uh, internet chaos. And uh, Jim Olson and Flora and everybody at Signature Sounds. And thanks to my uh, my dear wife, Chris Delmhorst, who <laughs> helped troubleshoot this whole deal and um, uh, <laughs> let me use her laptop <laughs> for this. And uh, I hope everybody can kind of keep it together. It's going to be okay. And we're all in it together, though we don't get to, to be together a little while but everybody's in it together and it's going to be fine You got a heart Like a hurricane lamp You got a heart Like a hurricane lamp And I see you shine In a way got a heart like a hurricane lamp keep your light inside keep your light inside keep your light inside you keep your light It's a long black night Coming down on you 
and howls inside Where the wind blows through I know you feel like you're dying For anything true You gotta laugh A light that shines in you Keep your light inside Keep your light inside Keep your light inside Keep your light Thanks, everybody.